Okay, the median effect equation, as I said, it can linearize those curves. Some are very sigmoidal, some are more hyperbolic. All become a straight line with the median effect plot. And this axis intercept is ED50, LD50. And uh, the slope is described, ABC slope described as a shape. This median effect plot introduced by me about at the same time, so it's very useful for any drug, regardless of mechanism of action or what the mode of action. This is the algorithm for computer simulation, how all that report generated. The median effect equation rearrange it from those you can calculate effect. From effect, you can calculate those. This uh, combination index equation is uh, derived by Joe and Talare, and this dose reduction index by substitution, and then it come out combination index or dose reduction index. And this can be not only for two drug, it can be for n drug. Here. How much is synergism is synergy? Because people say synergy it can be tiny synergy, it can be very strong synergy. So this is my recommendation. The dose range of combination index from 0.9 to 1.1 is nearly additive, slight synergism, moderate synergy, synergism, strong synergy, very strong synergy, and same thing for antagonism. And this is color and graphic line for the graphic. So this is a recommendation. So everything is quantitative. Okay, let's go to animal drug combination because it's, uh, it's important, but uh, here I want to give one example which I, pop, I reported last year, AACR meeting in San Diego uh, in mouse, xenograph in new mice. The most important feature of this method is using small number of animals. Some other methods using 500 mice, this, and I use 65 mice. This tremendous saving in time, effort, resources, and laboratory animal because the power of the median effect plot is not an empirical curve fitting. We are fitting those fact relation to mass action law, not like a statistical method. It's nothing to do with directly re related to statistics. And here I give the those range, of course, near good planning and some homework, route of administration, schedule administration. So this data, Actually, this can give you quickly give you example. This is a T compound. There's a treatment tumor size and treatment at different doses. The dose effect curve enters this into, and this is the combination. Of course, drug B, we have dose effect curve also. And then the computer generated report. It, I only just total eight pages. I only show three pages, show you the, how it looked like. And just a summary in your paper. Uh, for on different day, your combination, how much synergism, how much antagonism, not every day the same. And dose reduction, how much dose reduction in animal. So just carry out uh, same principle as uh, in vitro, but it's very time consuming and very expensive. The new mice cost $35 a mouse. And here we need 65 miles. But other people, when they do it, several hundred miles, they did not get quantitative synergy determination. Okay, here's a comparison. Compare in vitro drug combination in animal and in clinic. The time and effort, yes, in vitro take two weeks, two months, six months to a year. And uh, the material cost, tremendous difference. Sample size is millions, there's tens, it's also tens. 
And I make a very strong point here. In virtual, it's easy to do and can quantitate synergy. Animal is difficult, expensive, and slow. Clinic is almost impossible due to ethical, scientific, and practical reasons, which was discussed in my leukemia and lymphoma review article. So, to do, I question FDA actually, if they don't have definition or did not do preclinical experiment, how they allow to do that in human? That is very bad practice. That is very strong criticism in my review article. Okay, here, more detailed comparison in vitro, in animal, in patients. Those density, population size, variability, R value, and uh, the M value parameter, uh, conclusion available, just quantitative, quantitative, just uh, not practical, not, not applicable. Length of time, two weeks, months, years, flexibility, death as an end point, is always in vitro, frequent in animal, but human you cannot death as animal, <laughs> as an end point, of course. And ethical liability is non, is low, is very high liability for human. So this is a comparison. Here I have a very strong statement here, an open issue, is it ethically acceptable or scientifically correct to conduct drug combination trial in human without first doing drug combination in vitro or in animal? So this is my open question. So this method has a variety of good features. The best feature I did not mention here is allow small size experiment which save a lot of time, effort, resources, and laboratory animals. This computer simulation of synergy is quantitative. It answers the following, following primary question. Are there any synergism? How much synergism? Synergy at what dose level? Synergism at what effect level? How the isobogram look like? How much dose reduction allow for, for each drug for the synergism? Other questions depend on your experimental design. You can answer the optimal combination ratio. Is one to one or three to one, one to three is the best synergy. Schedule dependency. Is every drug given simultaneously or one after another? Selectivity or synergism. When you got synergy against the tumor, for example, are you synergies against the host? since the toxicity synergism will be in big trouble. And condition-directed synergism at a different temperature, different pH, different environment, how that influence the synergy, synergism or antagonism. So, this is the conclusion. The draw entirely drug combination index is regularly derived and widely used, which is based on mass action law. We have quantitative definition for synergy. Synergy is smaller than one, CI is smaller than one. Equal one is additive, greater than one is antagonistic. And the CI plot and the isoprogram are the only valid graphic for its determination. Drug combination that in vitro is fast and efficient, in animal is slow and expensive. Based on scientific, practical, and ethical reason, it is not possible to determine synergy in human. And thus, prior to drug combination in clinical trial, preclinical drug combination study in vitro or in animal should be carried out to obtain the basis and rationale for drug combination study in humans. And this is stated in my review article. And this is just a graphic uh, in my review.